Hi everyone, welcome to PR Softwares. In this today's video that we are going to be see about the calculator. So I have code already. Okay, let us check over here how it will work. Okay, now I am just taking to be done. So in this way, it is showing the calculator when I am calculating. So 5 plus 4 will become 9. So in this way, it should work. So when I am clearing, it is clear. So if I entered wrong input, then it will give as an error. Okay. So it should shown in this way the calculator should be work. So let us try with the code. Okay. So for the layout, we are using the tickinter model. So from this, I'm just taking as an from tickinter import star. Okay. Now I'm just taking over here root has a variable. TK. So this is a starting point of the ticketer uh, to create a layout and the ending point has a main loop I'm just giving. So let us check. So this is how the layout it is given. So now, so length and breadth increasing and after then coloring and all. So labels, title name. So everything we are going to be changed in this. So let us do all those things quickly. So I'm just taking over here root dot title as a calculator. Okay. So after then root dot geometry that I'm just taking over here 570 x 600 plus 100 plus 200 I'm just taking. So in this I'm just taking as a root dot. resizable i don't want to change this one so i'm just taking as in false of false and here i'm just taking the bag oh, background color should be changed now i'm just taking configuration of background bg equals to so with the with the help of html color code i'm just taking the code okay so let us check over here this is how it is printed so let us see the label uh, first of all. Let us create the label. So I'm just taking over here label result equals to label of root comma width equals to 25. And the height I'm just taking has in two. And the text has I'm just taking now font. Arial has a third day I'm just taking and this should be that we are going to be given in pair. Okay, let us check. So this is how the calculator size it came. Now let us create the button quickly. So I'm just taking over here button to the root. Text equals to, I'm just taking as in capital C. Now, width as in 5 and height as in 1, I'm just giving. And after then, flat. We can bold. Okay. Now, I'm just taking over here and background. So, I'm just taking over here the same HTML code. So I'm going to replace this one as an x axis is equals to 10 and y axis is equals to 100. So let us check. So this is how we are going to be. We are going to be create over here. First of all, equation. Okay. Now, the depth pause here. A global equation global equation equation equals to and after then label result dot configuration okay text has an I'm just giving equation okay so then it will easily work okay now the next button that we are going to be use all this button so here let me copy from this
we are going to be create over here as in division modulus and star multiplication so here i'm just changing the color code is different so the same html code i'm just taking now so here i'm just giving the x axis has 150 and here 290 and here 430 and this came okay so everything was same now i'm just creating firstly let me give the comment comment equals to lambda okay so here i'm just giving as in clear okay so same likewise i'm just taking over here lambda here i'm just taking as in show so in this i'm just giving the division okay so for this purpose we need to be create over here one one function like in that show so here i'm just taking global equation Now, equation plus r equals to value I'm just taking. Here I'm passing the value. Now, label result dot config of text has an equation. Okay. Text has an equation. Now, we can easily take over here show and the same comment I'm just taking for everywhere. So here I'm just taking percentile D uh, modulus and over here star. So like this, let us see and run. So every button is working, right? Now let us create the next buttons. So I'm just taking over here. So next button let's start nine eight seven and the minus that we are going to use. Okay. Everything was same. So only thing that we need to be nine, eight, seven and minus. So here we are taking as then 150 and 290 and 430. So y axis will be the 200 for every. Okay. So let us check over this. Like this, it will work. Now, the same like this, then we are going to be see. The next button that we are going to be see for the 6 and 5 and 4 and over here plus 6, 5 and 4 and over here plus. Now I am just taking here the same x axis has in 10 but y axis has in 300. So, x axis has an 150, y axis same it will remain the 300, 300. Now, here x axis will be 290 and 430. Let us check all those things. So, this is how it will come, right? So, 9 plus 8 plus 4, like this, we are going to be see all those things, okay? Now, coming to this, we need to be create more buttons. So, I'm just taking over here 3, 2, 1 and 0. In this, I'm just taking over here 3, 
two, one, and zero. The x-axis will be the same. Then I'm just giving the y-axis should be in four hundred. So let me change all of the four axes now. And this taking over here, one hundred and fifty has an x-axis. And in the next thing, I'm just taking two ninety and four hundred of the y. Now here, ten and the five hundred. Okay. Now here the width will be for zero. It is an eleven. Let us check. So in that way, we are going to see all the buttons. So at last we have two more buttons that to create. In this, I'm just creating over here dot and equals to <laughs> equals to height is three. Now I'm just taking. Dot and equals to. So in this, the x-axis is two ninety, and y-axis is five hundred. So here x-axis is four thirty, and y-axis is four hundred. Okay. Now coming to this equals to, then we are going to be take as an element. Okay. So here we, we are going to be take the calculation part. We are going to be take over here the calculation part. Now in the calculation. In the calculation part, I'm just taking def calculate function. So I'm just taking over here global equation. In that, I'm just taking result. If equation is not equals to this then we are going to be c result equals to evaluate has an English now except that we are going to be c Result equals to has an error. Now equation equals to So I'm just taking as a label result dot configuration of text equals to result. Okay. So now let us run this one. So here five plus four equals to how much? Nine. It is printed. So with the clear button, I just clear. Now twenty. This is a modulus. Example by ten. What it will give? Reminder value it will give. Right? That is zero. Okay. Now, so if I give over here fifty divisible by ten. Okay. What is the coefficient value? Five. So it will give with an point values. Right? So I'm just clear. So if I enter something wrong input. Then, if I wanted to check, then it will show as an error. So, like this, we are going to be see this code 
for and calculate okay so i hope you understood so this will be helpful for to create a layout of the calculator thank you everyone